Greetings, royal family. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for clicking on the video. So finally, finally, part three of the virtual reunion for these housewives in Atlanta. All right. Um, this is not going to be a long one, y'all. I can tell you that right now. I'm just going to get straight to it. And I, and I want to start out by saying some of these ladies, they have a common enemy, right? And they manufacture these relationships based on the fact that they do not like the same person. That person is Nini. And to me, that is a relationship built on quicksand, right? And we kind of see things sort of falling apart with people who were made to be good friends throughout the season, even though we, we saw right through it. And, I, and I, let me move on to, to Yovana, right? Because that's, that's really what I want to get to. Yovana, to me, is the dumbest character in Real Housewives of Atlanta history. The dumbest. There's, she's not strategic. She's not, you know, doing it for the coin. Like, well, she is probably doing it for the coin. But there's nothing strategic about that. She has been used and abused. She's willing to be used and abused. And Nini said a long time ago, the thirst is real. And we saw that. I saw that. Let me speak for myself. Displayed on this final episode of the reunion. First of all, it seems like Eva's husband is for everybody, right? Like Yovana said that Eva's husband was her legal representation when Nini sent her a cease and desist letter. And Eva thinks that this is so cute, you know? Eva apparently was the one who advocated for Yovana to be on the reunion, and I thought that was interesting. Now, Eva, is this an attempt for you to pull out a trump card to save your peach? Because what would be the benefit of you for you? Never mind you don't like Nini and you want to get at her. What is the benefit for you, Eva, bringing Yovana on the show? And she's representing, your husband is representing her. She's also a representative of your husband, Eva, because that is his client. He was boasting and bragging on, or he was ranting, I should say, on Instagram live when Eva was on live and her husband was in the background saying that he represented Dennis pro bono. He did him a favor. Excuse me. Where's the professionalism? As far as Cynthia, Cynthia kept reiterating. Why isn't Nini here? Because at this point, Nini had left before the episode ended in part two. Right. And People were wondering, like, is she going to come back? Is she going to come back? Eva just so happened to point out, oh, you know, Yovana posted that she's going to be clearing things up on her IG stories. Maybe Nini saw that and left. Now, I know that they edit things out. When, when was Nini was looking on her phone? It's possible. But Nini left before episode two or part two of the reunion was finished. So Cynthia's whole deal is, why isn't Nini here? This is all, the fact that Nini isn't here is all I need to see. It's all I need to see. What, what, is, what is Nini defending exactly? This is just my opinion. I just want to know, what exactly would Nini be defending? Yovana admitted that she lied. Why was Cynthia not getting at Yovana's neck? And, of course, after the taping of the reunion, Nini has been on social media throughout this whole ordeal. A lot of the housewives have. And Nini stated that she sent the transcript of, I guess, the communication between Yovana and Nini. I don't know if it's audio, video, or whatever, but she said she sent Cynthia the transcript. Cynthia received the transcript, and the only thing that Cynthia could reply with is, wow. Again, this is after filming so i didn't expect cynthia to bring that up during part two but i mean part three of the reunion um but cynthia what what is nini defending exactly and wasn't cynthia and candy the ones who sat down with yovana in the behind the scenes episode they showed i think they showed a snippet as well on this part three of the reunion Yovana sat down with Cynthia and Candy, and Yovana admitted that she lied. I, what would Nini be defending? If you come into this circle and you say, 
oh, I have this, I have that tape. We saw Yovana arrive at Nini's house, sat in the kitchen with Marlo and Nini, and said that she has some tea. She has a recording of Cynthia talking crap, right? You were the one bouncing around saying this. Then you turn around and said that you lied. What would Nini have? Why? Nini didn't say these things. Yovana did. I just don't get what Nini would have to defend. Cynthia should have, I think Cynthia could have pressed the gas a lot harder on Yovana. And as far as why Nini left, a lot of people are saying, you know, she was scared. She was scared. That's fine. You can have your opinion. My opinion is Nini left because she knew Yovana wanted a moment. Look at what happened after Yovana was on the reunion. She releasing singles. Not now she a rapper. Huh? This would have gone from snake gate to deflection gate because the only thing I can, I guarantee it. I'm willing to bet the farm that if Nini would have sat there, right. And Yovana would have came on, it would have turned into Yovana reading Nini talking about her physical appearance, make you know, it would have been a back and forth. They wouldn't have gotten to the nooks and crannies of this whole snake gate situation. So Yovana, you wanted your moment. Here's your moment. You don't need, why do you need Nini to have a moment? Nini know what she, do. trust me, she know what she doing. She ain't taking the bait. I think she probably stepped out, saw that Yovana was coming on and probably like, no, I'm not coming back. She, Nini don't take the bait. And that is what continuously ticks off those women in production that set up these plots and schemes. She doesn't take the bait as it pertains to Andy. Nini has been doing this for quite some time. She didn't take the bait. Yovana, you wanted your moment. You wanna shine, right? Shine on, sis. You don't need Nini to do that. And Candy, she told Yovana right. When she said, um, Yovana says that Nini told me to do it. Nini told me to record all of you, which to me doesn't even make any sense. It's possible. I don't doubt anything, but it doesn't make any sense. When, Nini has been on the show for 12 seasons. When has Nini been so concerned about finding out what the girls have been saying about me? She would most likely see it anyway, right? The castmates, they get the episodes before we, the viewers, see them. And I'm sure they probably get the behind the scenes, the stuff that's cut out, right? Yeah, because when Candy does her speak on it, Candy oftentimes says what they didn't show was blah, blah, blah. What? Why would Nini need to, to recruit Yovana to record Cynthia? Again, I'm not saying that it's not possible. I'm just saying it doesn't make any sense. She hasn't done it all this time to any of the ladies. And Yovana, why would she need to recruit you? But anyway, Candy, she told Yovana right. She said, if Nini told you to record all of us, you still did it after making attempts to get to know us. You know what I'm saying? Like you were just starting to get to know us and she told you to do it. You're still responsible. And I, I agree. Hear what Yovana says. Nini told me to do this way after I got to know you ladies. I'm like, <laughs> Candy says that makes it even worse. Marlo, she finally spoke up and said something. She asked Yovana if she doesn't recall saying on the phone that she had a recording of Cynthia saying X, Y, and Z about Nini. And of course, Yovana just bypasses that. She acts like she really, she's like, no, no, no. When Andy, I do notice that when Andy asked her, did Nini tell you to record um, the ladies or record Cynthia, she said, absolutely. Yovana was on Sister Circle. Um, she was on YouTube. She was in the press. She, her story changed so many times. Andy then asked the ladies, who believes Yovana was telling the truth? Cynthia raises her hand. <sighs> really, Cynthia? Candy, she was like on the fence. She kind of raised her hand, kind of didn't, and she was doing her hand like so-so. Tanya didn't raise her hand. Tanya says this is all hearsay. And Marlo didn't raise her hand. Marlo doesn't believe Yovana. Now, I think that Marlo knows more than she is saying. Um, who knows? Nini probably had her sign like a gag order or non-disclosure agreement of some sort. I wouldn't be surprised. And 
I don't think Andy believed Yovana either. He probably only had her on at the request of Eva because he probably thought like, yeah, she's going to have some piping hot tea. She's going to have some information that would sink Nini's ship. Epic fail. She didn't have anything. She didn't have anything. She made a plum fool of herself. And then Portia, I call her Portia Walters, right? She asked, to me, she asked direct logical questions. Like, it's not that difficult to figure out that Yovana wanted airtime. So what do you need? Again, you don't need Nini to have your moment. Have your moment. You admitted to lying so many times. Nini exposed text messages from Yovana telling Nini, oh, my husband doesn't want me to expose the recording because I don't want Cynthia to sue me. My husband doesn't think that this is a good look for his business and our clients. It went from that to there is no recording. I lied, but Nini told me to do it. Pathetic. Yovana is not a friend of the show. And I just feel like she's trying to fight and lie her way on the show. Bottom line, Nini told us she thirsty. The thirst is real. So after Nini not coming back, you know, she didn't come. She wasn't on this um, part three at all. You know, she did call Portia on the cell phone. She didn't come back on camera. Andy was just like, you know, tell her to get back on her laptop. Nini said the laptop is on the porch. It is on the porch. And they had a still image of uh, Nini's laptop being closed. I think that was from part one when she closed the uh, laptop and walked off. So it was a still image. And um, I noticed that Portia said that she had, she put Nini on speaker. Now, did they block out the audio or did Portia not have Nini on speaker? Let me know. And did y'all peep Yovana speak in Spanish when all the ladies were talking at once? Like, girl, bye. Like, you're so lame. So lame, just so lame. And I like the fact that they they kind of got at her, got at her a little bit. Of course, Kenya, uh, surprisingly, Kenya didn't have anything to say. Um, Eva, she apologized to Marlo because she thought that Marlo was the snake all along. Eva, girl, you, uh, mm -mm -mm. not a good look for you either. Not a good look whatsoever. I did like that they... They uh, got on Cynthia as well, you know, as far as the cookie lady is concerned. And they started to buck up a little bit. Cynthia started to look a little uncomfortable. Um, Candy's like, I love you, but, you know, mm, you invited the, the cookie lady to Brooklyn's birthday party. You told her, yeah, you should come by. I thought that was interesting. And I was looking forward to them getting at Cynthia um, and taking responsibility for that as well. So, I don't know. Cynthia, she says that she was walking around the entire season with anxiety because of this recording. Really? Really, Cynthia? Anxiety? Did the anxiety start before or after you said that Nini can shove that tape up her donut hole? Remember that? Remember after Nini met with Candy? And Candy went back and met with Cynthia and um, Kenya. And 50 Cent was getting bucked. She don't care. She don't care about no. But why would you be walking around with anxiety? I'm confused. And then in the same breath, you said that Nene talked trash about you. You talked trash about Nene. So why would you be anxious? I can't take Cynthia seriously, yo. I, I really can't. Yo, yo, she kept saying that she has proof and receipts. She held up her phone. She has not, she has put out, what has she put out? Nothing. Nini already outed you. Long text conversations all over social media. Now, it is being reported. This just in today, actually. It's being reported that Yovana is going to be joining the cast for season 13. Now, this is as per TMZ. And they're saying the snitch is back. Um, she's returning next season as an official cast member. Again, this is as per TMZ. So sources close to the production tell TMZ producers, tells TMZ, sorry, that producers invited Yovana to sign on for season 13 as an official cast member. Uh, we're told the contracts went out to all the ladies after they filmed the reunion. So as for Yovana's role next season, our sources say her main storyline for the upcoming season will piggyback off of the scandal that erupted during season 12. 
The so-called Snakegate drama roped in the entire cast after the ladies found out Yovana came on the show as a friend slash spy for Nini who wanted Yovana to gather intel to see which of the ladies were trash talking Nini behind her back. The ladies ultimately were led to believe Nini asked Yovana to record the conversation. During a trip to Canada, they peppered Yovana with questions. But she danced around everything. As it turns out, Yovana never recorded anything and admits Nini asked her to record the conversation. The cast's reaction, so you're a snitch. So Yovana never got the chance to confront Nini about Snakegate and how it affected her. As the reunion preview shows, Nini bounced from virtual reunion <laughs> bounced from the virtual reunion after getting into an unrelated argument with the girls. Nini later took to YouTube to explain why she didn't return to the reunion. And that video of why Nini didn't return to the reunion was done a couple of weeks ago. So you mean to tell me that after all of this, allegedly Yovana is going to be joining the cast for season 13? Again, this could be all fake just to build up hype. After the reunion yesterday... Yovana debuted her single, <laughs> which was whack, by the way. It's like, yo, this girl, it, it, production didn't even want you around. And those text messages were revealed by Nini as well. So, Andy, help me understand why Yovana was brought on to sit on the panel. Again, uh, Shamia wasn't brought on. Mama Joyce wasn't brought on. Todd wasn't brought on. Well, none of the husbands were or boyfriends were. You know, Cookie Lady wasn't brought on. What happened to that lady who confronted Candy about Dennis? Where she was at? You know, Nene was really getting clowned, right, for not being on several episodes, right, uh, this season. And people were saying she has no storyline. Uh, she was sat down by producers. Kenya said that she was reprimanded. Andy debunked that. And Andy was giving it to Kenya, um, as well. I don't think Andy cares for Kenya, but he knows that her presence drives ratings for the show, uh, because of the drama that she keeps up. And I did recall them asking, how did the beef start with Kenya and Nini? And of course, Kenya is not going to give a direct answer because, it's all manufactured. It's all calculated. You understand? Like, if Kenya makes up with Nini, if she accepts any of Nini's apologies, that means that production, because production is loyal to none of these ladies, right? Production is going to start digging into, for instance, the issues with, your, with her marriage, the issues with Mark, what's going on with her finances. That stuff is all over, over uh, the Internet. So it has to be beef with Nini, my beef with Nini. It has to be that. Otherwise, they're going to put you on Front Street, and Kenya don't want that. The woman was not even on part three of the reunion, and she was still talked about. Nini threw a monkey wrench in the plans of production. She threw Andy's face was even like, um, okay, so let's kind of go back to this so-called friendship with Kenya and, and Cynthia through a monkey wrench. And I'm telling you, I was here for that. I was here for it. So again, Nini, she was getting clowned. She has no storyline. However, again, the bulk of the reunion was about Nini, about her friendships, about her friendship with Wendy Williams, which I can understand because she was on the show, uh, on the phone with Nini. So I get it. Questioning the authenticity of her friendship. Everything was about Nini. Everything. Any segment that wasn't really about Nene, Andy turned it back. Nene, what do you have to say about that? Like, what? I don't got nothing to say. It ain't got nothing to do with me. There were so many things, in my opinion, that could have been touched on. Like I said, the lady that confronted Candy in OLG, I think that was the first episode of the season about Dennis. Why didn't they discuss that? Why didn't they talk about how Kenya, who wasn't there when this lady confronted uh, Candy at the OLG restaurant, told um, Portia about Candy being confronted by this lady at OLG at Brooklyn's birthday party? Remember, Candy was like, I told you not to say anything. She went back and said something to, to Portia. Why didn't they touch on that? Eva and her lies or her selective memory. That wasn't really discussed too tough. Where was the doll that Eva gave Kenya? 
for her daughter, who Kenya turned around and gifted to Portia. I would have much rather seen that doll on the panel than Yovana. They ice skated past all the issues, most of the issues with Mark and Kenya. They did talk about it, but not long enough in my opinion. And Eva, Miss Eva, Miss Eva, she looked totally crazy being the hype man for the reunion. And she looked even crazier when it was said that she pushed for Yovana to appear on the reunion. The same Yovana that Eva said that she didn't know and she really didn't care for. And again, isn't it interesting that Mr. Sterling is Yovana's attorney? That doesn't seem shifty to y'all. Over and over and over again, it's displayed that production wants Nini either gone or they don't want anyone to get along with her. I just, I don't get it. I do. It makes for good TV. But when people say Nini is crazy, Nini is jealous, she's just mad, she's just this. Is she? Look at how this reunion played out. She said, oh, word, y'all going to try to ambush me? All right, I'm over the reunion. I'm out. Bye. Y'all threw a monkey wrench in your plans. Andy even looks shook. Andy, I wish Nene was here. Why? Why do you wish Nene was here? This just further proves her point. All you guys do is talk about her. There were so many other things that I feel that they could have touched on and kind of stayed on, but they didn't. And I think what Nene did, she didn't take the bait. And she, like I said, she threw a wrench in production. And Andy is messy. We know that. Andy's very shady. And he thinks he's cute. So Nene turned around and pulled the rug from under him. And he didn't know what to do. But he kept his composure, though. He wasn't expecting that. Oh, I, w I wish Nene was here to defend this. Why? Nene wasn't the one going around lying. I know I'm reiterating the same point, but think about it. Nene didn't run from anything. Yovana, you want your moment, right, sis? Here's your moment. And I like the fact that all of them got at her. Kenya was quiet, like I said. I like the fact that all of them got at her. And if she is going to be a castmate for season 13, I wonder how the other ladies are going to feel about that. Because I remember in the season, Candy didn't feel comfortable with her being around if they didn't know that she was the one that did the recordings at first, but she doesn't like the candy. Didn't like the fact that, you know, at any time I could be secretly recorded. I don't like that. Do I think that there's a recording? I, at first I said, nah, there is no recording. This is trash, but I'm starting to think that there might be a recording and Nini listened to it and heard it. And Yovana is retracting all of that. And she dare not release it because she doesn't want to get sued by Cynthia. Because why would you obtain legal counsel if there's no recording, right? Mark, Mark Sterling is your attorney. What you need an attorney for when Nene sent you a cease and desist letter? Because she didn't want you to release any secret recordings that you had of her. So why did you obtain a lawyer if you said you lied, there is no recording? I think that there might be a recording. Messy, messy, messy. I don't know what their objective is, but production, I'm saying, your horns are showing. They've been showing for some time. You guys, like I said, you don't think that there's anything shifty about that? So that's all I got. I, 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 there's nothing else for me to go into. As far as Cynthia and Kenya's relationship, it, it, it is, we saw it. It is what it is. Cynthia can think whatever she wants to think. So what I want you guys to do, if there's anything that I forgot to mention that you noticed or you want to discuss, drop it in the comments. Keep all comments respectful. Otherwise, they'll be deleted. So I'm just telling you in advance, don't waste your time. For those of you who come on my platform, show love, give your respectful feedback, disagree with me respectfully. Thank you. I greatly appreciate you respecting yourselves, me, and my platform. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the commentary. If you haven't done so, hit the subscribe button. We'd love to have you join our conversations here with the Royal family. So this concludes Real Housewives of Atlanta season 12. What do you guys think about Yovana possibly joining season 13? Can't wait to read your comments, Royal family. So make sure you got those notifications on because I will be back soon, real soon. Until next time, peace.